वेलकम बैक गाइज इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड द ऑपरेटर्स लाइक एडिशन ऑपरेटर सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑपरेटर मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑपरेटर डिविजन ऑपरेटर एंड मॉड्यूलस ऑपरेटर नाउ इन दिस पार्ट आई विल डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स द नेक्स्ट ऑपरेटर विच वी आर अबाउट टू डिस्कस इज इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर बिफोर डिस्कसिंग इट लेट्स ओपन अवर प्रोग्राम फर्स्ट दिस वॉज अवर लास्ट प्रोग्राम एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू इन दिस प्रोग्राम ओनली now before going on increment operator let me initialize the c variable first increment operator is used to increment the value of your variable by 1 it means that if you apply increment operator on any variable then the value of that variable will be increased by 1 now increment operator is of two type post increment operator and pre increment operator there is a slight difference between post and pre increment operator in post increment operator first the value will be printed and then it will be incremented by 1 and in pre increment operator first the value will be incremented by 1 and then it will be printed on your screen now let's see the practical implementation of increment operators here i have to make some changes i will write here post increment operator and here it will be c++ this is post increment operator now as i have told you in post increment operator first the value will be printed and then it will be incremented by 1 let's see is it right or not here i will just print c variable and here i will change it to variable c this is how we can use post increment operator now in pre increment operator first the value will be incremented by 1 and then it will be printed on your screen i think i should take another variable here so it will be more easier to understand the pre increment operator i will take variable d here and i will initialize it with value 0 now here i will make it d so this is how we can use pre and post increment operators now decrement operator is just opposite of increment operator it will decrease the value of your variable by 1 let's see how we can use decrement operator it is also of two type post decrement operator and pre decrement operator in post decrement operator first the value will be printed on your screen and then it will be decremented by 1 i think i should take two more variables so that it will be more easier to understand decrement operators let me initialize them and there we go let's change here i will give here e now let's print the value of e and check whether we have done correctly or not this is post decrement operator now let's see how we can use pre decrement operator in pre decrement operator first the value will be decremented by 1 and then it will be printed on your screens the next operator is 
addition assignment operator now before using this operator let me take one more variable and now I have to initialize it now your addition assignment operator is slightly different from your simple addition operator what it does is first it will add the value to your variable and then it will initialize the result to your variable like here your g variable is 0 if I will perform addition assignment operator on your g variable then the result of the addition operation will be assigned to variable g that value will be assigned to variable g let's see how we can use it its sign is plus followed by a equal to and I will write here 6 I have to change here also it will be addition assignment operator the next operator is subtraction assignment operator it is also the same it will first it will subtract the value from your variable and after that it will initialize the result into your variable I have to make a change here I have not given the value here here I will give say 5 now the next operator is multiplication assignment operator multiplication assignment operator will first multiply your variables value with your given number and after that it will initialize the result into your variable the next operator is division assignment operator your division assignment operator it will also work the same first it will perform division and after that it will initialize the result of that division operation into your variable the last operator in arithmetic operators is modulus assignment operator modulus assignment operator will first find out the remainder of division operation and after that it will initialize the result of that operation into your variable let's save our program we have completed all the operators I will save the program now let's compile our program now before compiling our program let me correct our program I have not applied semicolon here let's save it again to compile a Java program we type Java C followed by a file name our program has compiled successfully now let's run our program to run a Java program we type Java followed by class name there you can see our program has compiled successfully and executed successfully you can check we have performed every operator here and the result of every operator is also here that's all with this program if you like my video then please share it subscribe it Keep learning, keep rocking.